Hmm, I don't know if you guys can hear me. I sit around for a bit. I'm gonna head over to this plug DJ room. Try and get some songs going. Maybe. Friday, Israel. What's going on? I just woke up from a great nap. <laughs> right as the show is supposed to start. It shows you how I'm doing. Alright, let's get into this. You got this uh, animation that I'm working on. I guess it's an idea, is what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Israel, she's all buried. Buried and gone. Um, yeah, Vegas was good, man. I always tell people I'm I'm, I'm very well behaved over there because I'm I'm too uh, I'm too aware of everything that can go wrong. So I don't I don't gamble much. Uh, I don't drink that much over there either. I don't take that much, period. Um, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Hope you guys had a good week. Well, I guess only fucking two of you here. After a long dinner, I like to take a nap. That's what just happened. Hmm. Yeah, like right now I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. I'm just trying to mess around and see what happens. <sighs> Look for stuff that I like, stuff that I don't like. What I'm doodling. Doodling. Dr. Slick Daddy, what's going on, man? I am really feeling sluggish after that nap. Jeez. Well, I guess... Excuse me. I guess I can talk about this drawing a little bit. What happened was it started out as a, a portrait I was trying to do. Um, in oil, actually. And, um... Excuse me. I ended up scratching out um, the face I was working on. I was in a fit of rage. I hated how it looked. And then I, um, sort of noticed an opportunity. Like, I've, I've been wanting to do some sort of 
mixed media collage animation for a while. I'm already like, I've already been dabbling in it, um, like layering videos on top of drawings, but I never, I never really considered using a physical painting as a, the basis for an animation. I mean, I, I don't know. Like the, the next question for me is like, what I what I want this girl to do? Like, is she just standing there? I guess. I don't know. I suppose that's what I'll make her do. We do some blinking. Oh, okay, the DJ room is is up now. We're playing stuff. You guys should go in there. Ivy Matic, what's going on, man? Israel says, by the way, I was at a party recently and I know I introduced a girl to your drink of choice, <laughs> which is a jack of diet. She said that she loved it, and towards the end of the party, she ended up giving me her number. Thanks, Dom. You're welcome. That's why that's what I intended, you know. Later on you'll have her locked in your basement and you'll thank me for it. Um All right, I'm gonna try and make a new. I guess I can show this this little bar. Try and make one new uh, keyframe. This keyframe, I will Control Alt D smooth twice, so I get this effect, which you guys are familiar with. The uh, The shaky line effect. I'll put this thing on loop. See how it looks. Ooh. Whoops. I don't know if you guys can see that shakiness. Fantastic, what's going on, man? Deaf Heaven. Uh, uh, pardon, pardon, pardon. Deaf Heaven says, what's been the most obnoxious thing someone's done while you were drawing in public? After watching your last video with the GoPro thing, those guys made me wonder. They were really respectful. Don't get me wrong. It was all... I was kind of defensive because I just... I guess I expect bad things to happen. Especially in Vegas, I was kind of like, like you guys stay away from me. I don't know what the fuck, what what it is you want. The guys looked a little shady, and it was in the afternoon, and they and they, they looked like they had been like smoking a bunch or like drunk or something. I I wanted nothing to do with them, but um, yeah, they they like I said, everyone was really nice over there. Like they were all tourists and shit, just wanting to talk to somebody. The most obnoxious thing someone's done. I mean, as a large black male, like, people are, I think, I, I'm sort of on the, I'm on the top of the totem pole of, of people you should 
you you should or you think you should be scared of in, in public. All right, not not people you should be scared of, but people you think you're afraid of. So other people are like they don't want to fucking talk to me naturally. It's like they they stay out of my way. They don't make eye contact. Nothing. Um, even if they see me drawing, uh, it would be it would be very different if I was a girl. Um, I'm I'm aware of that. Uh. What I'm getting at is that not many people have, uh, have done anything obnoxious around me. I've had people... Like, the the weirdest thing is when people see me drawing something, and they'll just stand in front of me start taking and taking pictures of the... Whatever thing I'm drawing. But uh, it's understandable because I'm usually drawing something that's, that's popular, like a, a landmark or something, so... I can't expect to keep it all to myself. People are very reasonable. I just can't stand this girl's mouth, man. I can't stand this shit. So I'm going in and changing it. I don't like how she scowls. Hotkeys are your best friend. If you're doing any sort of digital art, you should learn learn them. Uh, okay, okay. Delete these frames, boom. Start over again. Uh, all right, I extended by one keyframe, smoothed once, and now I'm gonna um, start fucking with it, I guess. That looks cool. One mistake I made already is um I do believe I I already made this I sort of made it an environment where it's it's kind of hard for me to fuck around with this like I want I like I like how it looks right now So it's going to be tough for me to fuck her face up or whatever I'm so eloquent with my thoughts. Uh, can put on an onion skin. And I'm gonna make slow adjustments frame by frame. I guess I'll make her blink. Dr. Telescope, how you been, man? Missed line 18, that is not my girlfriend. <laughs> Israel says the woman in this animation looks a little constipated. I, I agree, that's why I'm changing it. on increasing my look at that you see that that blinking I'm gonna work on my 
uh, oil painting ability so I can do some more of this collage. I'm soon. How you doing, man? Edward Mowinkle says you're more concerned with people thinking you're a mugger than you are being mugged. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's right. Death Heaven says what motivates you the most, and um, do I think? I think um. Uh. Mostly just wanting to I think I'm motivated by wanting to uh it's gonna sound it's really hard to explain these these emotions these complex feelings. I want people to sort of connect to whatever whatever it is I'm doing like if I feel like I can I can reach them or really like uh, um, somehow make people feel less alone or um, yeah but with with whatever it is I'm doing like if I'm talking and people feel like it's it's like sort of comforting or it helps them feel like they're n not as weird I like that if I'm entertaining that's fine um you know what from this let me adjust this i'm also not motivated by not wanting to work uh i don't like having a boss i work for myself Express myself and all that. You know what a great motivating factor is, you guys? Negative stuff like, you know, knowing knowing your mortality. If a girl if a girl dumps you or rejects you, you can pretty much you can pretty much guarantee you're about to make <laughs> you're about to make some of your best uh, artwork after that. I have been kind of in kind of a funk lately. Uh, as far as the channel, like not really knowing. Uh, I don't know, not really knowing like who to who to interview, like why I do interviews. I had, I had some issues thinking about um, like how many how many views I get and shit like that, which is really terrible. Like if you know that you're doing something unique. Like you really shouldn't worry too much about views. Like it's a good measure of how you, how good you're doing, but like it shouldn't rule you. Man, this stream is slow. Salvenji, how you doing, man? <laughs> Paranoid major, disgusting. Uh, not really. Israel says, if I ever get big enough in life to have my own autobiography, I want you to do the audiobook. I feel like your voice is perfect because it intimidates men and seduces women. <laughs> okay, sure. In the life of Israel Lopez. The Life of Israel Lopez by Israel Lopez. Oh. I've been wondering that recently. Are there people who are just born with, like, a set of, of vocal cords? Like, they're, 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 the muscles in, in their throat are just designed so that when they push... When they push their voice out, it makes it makes people like 
listen to them more. I know that sounds really dumb. Like I, I don't know what it is about like a deep voice that people people like so much. Like why is that a, why is that the thing that we like so much? Like you don't want to be a dude with a, a really high pitched voice. You want to be a girl with a really low low voice. I guess you can be ultra charismatic though with a high pitched voice. It's not a, a prerequisite. I don't know. How does it work? What does it mean? What does it all mean? All right, look at that. Boom! Close your eyes, bitch. All right, extend that for one frame, and then I do the reverse. Paste these, reverse these. Is there anything you guys want to see more on the channel? Do you want to see like more of those outs? I, I'm going to be doing more of the outside drawing things. I I, I can tell you that right now, because you guys are, have been re re responding really well to those. I know the animation probably isn't as fluid. On a on the stream, Miss Line eighteen asks, am I, uh, "Am I happy that Justin Bieber is finally over?" No, I don't, and I don't think he's over. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna. I'm gonna start over for you guys. I'm gonna make a new face. Yeah, guys, get into this DJ room and, uh,. Yeah, Justin Bieber's not over, man. I, I and I, uh, I mean the just I don't I don't I don't really care what you think about about his his music. I mean, because you're not in his demographic. I mean, he's for for the longest time he's been catering to a teenage girl. So it's like you you are gonna think his music music is shit. But the guy is talented. He can sing and play instruments and shit like that. Um, so I'm kind of I'm not really on that bandwagon of just hating him. But I, I think what I what I hope for him is that I mean I, I don't I don't hope that anyone becomes a train wreck and has like uh, alcohol issues etc. But um, I, I hope he gets clean I guess and um, what I what I really hope from him is like and he's been taking this step with uh, you know that that collaboration with Chance the Rapper recently. Um, I hope he starts making music that's uh, that caters more to our demographic you know. Adult, you know, young adults or whatever, uh, like who 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 are into indie music and shit like that. I think it'll be really interesting. Um, really interesting if he started doing that stuff.
Real sweatshirt sounds so sad. All those verses. Kill a shaman eating ramen in a, a parking lot. It's such an odd future line. Oh man. Er oh, man. E-Man Collins. Yeah, I'm having a great day, man. Thanks. James Earl Jones is a six pack on his vocal cords. Israel, between me and D Respect, uh I would probably win in a game of Mario Kart because he doesn't play many games. Um if he played games at all, he would win because I, I'm I'm pretty shitty at any competitive game. Edward Malwinkle, yes, you, you, learning how to use your voice is a very valuable asset. And Deaf Heaven, I, I, I agree, I think I do have some animation potential, it's just... I, I need to figure out what kind of what kind of stories I want to tell, if anything, I just... I, I honestly don't know what it is I'm I'm trying to, to do with animations usually. Like I, I never wanted to to be the guy just doing Pokemon parody videos. Um, you know, ever, ever since high school, like I just I just knew that's that's not what I wanted to do. I, I wanna do stuff that's really uh strange and new, I guess. So I'm still working on um, some animation ideas. It's gonna sound silly, but like uh, a lot of my animation ideas, I'm just still trying to convince myself that they're worth uh, pursuing or putting on here. It's like this constant back and forth with me where I, I think to myself, Oh, and then I have this idea, and I'm like, no, it's like all your other ideas, blah blah. But and and I uh, I just bounce back and forth, and the in the ultimate um, the ultimate uh, result of of that sort of thinking is just me realizing that I don't have I only have like one animation to my name, really. I mean, besides the Anthony Fantano one, that it was like that was like his story. But I I feel like Rare, Rare Candy Clinic is the only one I've really uh like conceived of and finished. Um Abby Maddox says a low pitched voice sound uh sounds authoritative over on a male and a high pitched voice may show the submissiveness uh, submissiveness of a female to some. Edward Mowinkle says, I really like to interview sort uh, sorts of things. The ones where you've... Oh, the ones I have, I ripped MP3s. I know you lose something just listening to it, but the back and forth is fun to listen to. It, thanks, man. I mean, that's how it's supposed to be. I hope it's fun to listen to. Mistline. He, he, uh, Beaver was deported, and he, he had a DUI, and he's being deported. Dude has money, man. He's not going to stay out of the country for long. 
He's not over. People will go to Canada to work with him, man. You have not seen the last of him. Especially, he, he's just gonna work out some plea deal with the, with a judge in America and, and say like, you you know what it might be? It might be some shit like, oh, uh, he does a couple hours of, of rehab and community service and then agrees to do some sort of a PSA for teens about drunk driving. All right, y'all, drunk driving is nothing to sing about. I'm a singer, but there's nothing to sing about when it comes to drunk driving. All right, we're going to try to make this face twine. Delete a bunch of frames. <sighs> okay. Six. Got my onion skin going on. Whoops. Edward Bowenkel, yeah. I mean, he's an entertainer, and and just like at people, people really like shitting on Bieber. But I mean, like, do you know what? Like, the Beatles were making shit music at the beginning. I want to hold your hand, like, gar like garbage teenage girl music, man. Pop stuff, kind of boring. Help, you know. Israel says, if your life was a movie, what would be the name of the movie, and who would you want to star in it as you? Um, the name of the movie would be probably, probably Easy Life, because that was, that was going to be the name of, um, a bunch of, anime. like, I, I was trying to write a book at some point about a bunch of, uh, weird shit, that's what I was going to name the book, so that's the first title I can think of. Um, I've always been fascinated by the idea of people who aren't like I'd want someone like I'd want an Asian guy to play me something like that or like a, a, I've also play, uh, played around with the idea of a female playing me for some reason I think that'll be really interesting like, if a girl could get my mannerisms down and have, like, have everyone in the environment treat her as if as if she's physically me, I think that would be a very, uh, kind of a weird artistic thing to see. I don't know. But, alright, if, if it was a male, though, I would just, I would just get, uh, I don't know, Don Cheadle. <laughs> I have no idea. Probably a no-name actor. Some no name feller. All right, her head's going to turn. Her head's going to toin. What about you guys? Who would you want to play you? It's tough when you really think about it. It's like, who do you think would do a good job? Slick Daddy, I love short films. Uh, ones on Vimeo, yeah, sure. If you, you guys have any recommendations, shoot them over. <laughs> I haven't done Dom Diggs in like two weeks, so I'm looking for material. I think I've already moved her head over too much. All right. 
let's see if we can limit the um I what happened if I just fucking left this left this here oh that's weird Okay, so you can't really see the turning that well, but um, thoughts on Fantano's hair? I don't know. It's uh, it's a mohawk now. <laughs> Those are my thoughts. Love it, hate it, you know, it's just my opinion, right? That wasn't a fantastic impression. Paranoid Mage's uh, bio would be called, biopic would be called I Don't Know Man, starring Paul Dana. I like that. Eman Collins. I asked, do I like fried catfish with hot sauce on it? I asked because that's what I'm eating right now, and it's freaking delicious. Shut up. You're just bragging. I, I've never had that. I tried to cook catfish on my own. Tried to pan fry it in some bacon grease, and it was a bad idea. I didn't like it too much. Are you eating the catfish just by itself? Or you have hot sauce with it? Mayo? Tata sauce? What are you eating that with? I want to know. I want to know everything about you. Tell me. Alright. Come on, come on. Which this drawing would finish itself. Be nice. Be real nice. All right. You can see like half a second of the turning. And then you have to keep continuity between the frames. That's the hardest part, man. <laughs> I get me to play with my own biopic, yeah. If you had your son play you in a movie, yeah, that would be pretty impressive. Yeah, Mao Inkle. There, there's definitely, uh, I've seen some amazing stuff on Vimeo from uh, student animations and stuff. Really cool shit. Um, the only thing that scares me is like some of these projects people work for like three years on and I, I just don't have that kind of time with, uh, I, I, I don't want to spend that much time with an animation. As dumb as that sounds. I don't know, man. I don't know. Shh. 
shitting on the dock of the bay. Who played sitting on the dock of the bay? This is like the corniest best song. This song is about a dude sitting. It's about literally nothing. This song is about resting your boner. Sitting here resting my boner. <gasps> yes, look, Daddy. PM me your favorite animations. I'm carried in my basket. You look like Danny Brown. You have the tooth, the broken tooth going on, too. I think he'd probably, uh, he probably has a really, uh, I mean, I mean, I, I would love to see a Danny Brown biopic. Like, he is a kid, you know, he's been in jail. Getting beat up, uh, gonna buy, going to buy groceries for his family in Detroit. That's great. <sighs> Next frame. Hot sauce with catfish, eh? Israel Lopez says, next summer, from the people that brought you No Country for Old Men and Mean Girls, comes Easy Life, the story of Dominic Rabron, starring Kerry Washington. That sounds really good. Oh, yeah. Kerry Washington. <laughs> Sitting here resting my bones. Yeah, that would be nice. Have her play me. It would be great to see Carrie Washington playing me, uh, trying to hit on a girl and getting rejected. Like, yeah, you know, uh, let's go, let's go, go out sometime. You know, you you want to want to come out? Like, nah, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Well, uh, You know who's really pretty is uh, Jamie Foxx's daughter. Um, <gasps> if you guys haven't seen her, that's, that's the sound sound I make whenever I see her. It's ridiculous. I, I, I mean, I mean, like, what, what, what is this? Oh man, look at her. Okay, all right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm fine. All right. <laughs> Hannibal Burris is gonna play me. Yeah. Okay. Bump. <laughs> Alright, so I assume since you guys didn't didn't most of you didn't answer about anything new you want from the channel, you're you're good with whatever you're seeing. The the uh the rate of 
of videos, etc. Oh. F six. Who the hell is Della May? Some kind of singer? Mr. Lopez asks, do I think that Kendrick got robbed at the Grammys? Yes. Thoughts on Daft Punk winning, winning album of the year? I I disagree. I thought Good Kid should have won that. Was that even up for it? I don't know. Will you send me money so I can buy some chicken Alfredo? No. <laughs> goofy. You're goofy fuck, Israel. Um... Della May is bluegrass, huh? Hannibal Burris. <laughs> Whoever posted that 4chan uh, image, uh, I got a 404 error, so just. I don't know. I haven't talked about After Earth before. Wait, is that the one with. Will Smith? Will Schmoth? <laughs> I get turned on by girls because when I see a pretty girl, well, a girl I think is pretty, I make that sound. <laughs> yeah. I remember my cousin Skeeter. I'd love to have a puppet play me. I like puppets a lot. Anything with a puppet, I, I really enjoy, usually. turning she looks Asian now I don't know what I did I can't be consistent moving at this pace whatever whatever I actually emailed Hannibal Burris about doing my show um, I think it's, it's probably been almost a year maybe I should email him again that's what I'll do she would never do this fucking show Man, I emailed him back when I had no fucking street cred. I guess I'll give it another shot. Eesh. Oh, 
Uh oh. Wait. What am I doing? Okay. Arousable. What's going on, man? Avimatic. I'm not over six feet tall. I'm five eleven. Who fucking started spreading that rumor? <laughs> I removed the dash in the uh, link and it still didn't work. What is this? I don't know. Favorite candy Snickers for sure. Who's Isaiah Rashad? He sounds like a rapper. Yo, I used to love Toonami. Yu Yu Hakusho loved that shit. Dragon Ball Z, un unfortunately, I, I watched a lot of that. Kenshin, watched a lot of that too. Look, I, I don't know if Yu Yu Hakusho is the best anime to exist. I think, I think you're taking it a little too far, but... Taking a little too far, buddy. Oh, I, I I loved it though. I'm not gonna lie. Blue Gender, uh, Trigun, Bebop. That was a really good time for anime, for TV watching. I don't even know if Toonami plays a uh, or Adult Swim does anime on um Saturday nights anymore. I was watching Evangelion around that time too. Who's this Keaton Henson guy? A little, a little much for me. I loved Fooly Cooly. I thought it was too short. It was way too short. One more frame. Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh-oh. I've not tried absinthe, but what would you do, take one shot? I know that's not going to do it. You must have been drinking other stuff that night for it to smash you. <laughs> the Double D's movie starting starting Hannibal Burris in an Earl sweatshirt. Oh man. I 
I don't know who this E man is, but the song is good. Good song. Good song. I'm drawing a completely different girl. This is great. Alright, let's see how this looks. Alright, I'll have this here for a little bit. And then reverse... Copy these frames, reverse. Do one of these. There you go. Hit loop and She's moving. Israel says, recently I was uh, followed by Lil B on Twitter. I just want to let you know that if you ever need any help becoming more based in your life, <laughs> you always come to me. I already, don't I already follow you on Twitter? Mist line. Samurai Champloo is one of my favorite animes, anime of all time, and um, some of the best music. It's right up there with Bebop. Copy these frames. Copy them frames. Perfect, perfect, perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Too much blinking, too much. Delete some of these frames. a little better add some shakiness to this Uh 
bunch of keyframes here. what I want. Let me zoom in on this before I hop on out of here. Give you a full screen view. Iman, are you saying that you, you made that song that was playing just now? What the fuck? Because if you do, that was fucking amazing, man. Soft and G, if you do make a uh, movie poster for that, the Double D's movie, please, please send it to me. Miss Line, I don't fuck around, man. I know my anime. Israel, I, 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 I didn't have sex until I was nineteen. And I spent a lot of time in my basement in high school. Uh, I, yeah. I know my shit. Yeah, it is about that time, y'all. Eman, that was really good. I'm very impressed. All right, y'all. Um, follow me on Twitter as usual. Thanks for being here. Uh, we'll commence again next week. Hopefully with more weird animations, more weird stuff. Uh, if you have any requests for some shit you want me to draw outdoors this weekend, hit me up on Twitter. Let me know. I'm very likely to do it because I'm out of ideas. I will see you all very soon. E-Man, hit me up on Twitter. Oh, Israel asked, before I leave tonight, can I drop a verse for the fans one time? Okay. All right, here we go. Um, uh, like a jiggly puff, I uh, eat a cream puff and bust a cream pie into a Pikachu. That's all I got, you guys. Have a good night.